Uh, hi guys, welcome to my uh, next Mario uh, tutorial on uh, Scratch. Um, in this tutorial, we're gonna be adding uh, this sort of thing. Well, uh, and Mario could also uh, walk on it like that. And uh, yeah, I haven't got the collisions looking yet. Well, you think this is a collision? No, it's just not a collision. Hmm, now, uh, yeah, so, uh, yeah. and, uh, actually, we're, um, yeah, we're not gonna do the collisions of uh, the top collision, like, we're gonna do it another way, this was just the way of, see, he sort of goes into the item box, then into the floor, and then you have to hit the item box, and that's the freeze. And that's not what I really want. Just go back to your uh, scratch uh, project. And uh, yeah. I'll just uh, uh, go and. Uh, well, actually, um, uh, first, what you want to do is get these brakes. Now, of course, you might want to get these brakes. So just go into your files. There you go. There, I've got these uh, four images. So just what you need to do is just edit your spreadsheet and just look for the turning one there on here. I think I saw it somewhere. Yeah, you just want to basically get it. There, there you are. They're right over here, under the like unusual Mario stuff. <laughs> yeah. I call them unusual Mario stuff, but you can call them whatever you want. Yes, I want. <laughs> so uh, there they are. You just want to get your select tool like that. Mm. I'm gonna do with you only one, but I'm gonna not save it, and you guys should save it and do to the rest. Now get your select tool. Make sure you select it uh, properly, or else you'll have some white bits in the end like that and then you'll uh, right click right click click copy go here go paint and then you can uh, write then you can uh, here right click right click oh I can't do that okay so it's okay uh, Let's just, uh, yeah. That's also a painting tool, so be careful of that. You want to press Control V on your keyboard, then you go, um, uh, right, where did you go? Oh, yeah, con you'll go Control on your keyboard, and while you're pressing it, keep pressing it hardly, and then press W. You'll see the resizing tools, and we'll write resize it to like something like 300. And then you will uh, crop that, and then we'll save. And now I have to just save that um, as i1.png, uh, and then you just click uh, save. Yeah, and then you do that for all the rest, and make sure you change them to i2, i3, i4 until you get them all. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, let's go back into Scratch. Now we need to upload these uh, sprites. We'll upload I1, I2, I, I, no, actually these, uh, uh yeah, no, uh, these are one separate sprite. I'm just gonna get, I just did them as sprites, my bad. And now we want to give these sprites to I1. We want to give these costumes to I1. Now uh, I1 has I2. Now I can actually delete I2. Then you'll give this one to I1. And then you'll give this one to I1. Then close it. Until you get old like this. Now we're gonna go back into the code. Now of course we 
Of course, we need the, some uh, coding. And to start off, we're just gonna hide our variables. Now, let's just go Mario. He has some private variables, so we need to hide those too. Until it looks so uh, it's with no variables. As uh, you can see, Mario, he uh, you'll not really get the. There's no collisions. It's just that you see, you think that there is collisions, but there's no collisions. Let's get on to coding for this sprite since we haven't coded it in anything. We're just gonna give it one small thing. I know it's gonna be uh, when green when the green flag is clicked. We're gonna want to uh, make this always uh, go to the front layer. And make sure to put a show at the beginning. So that no one can hide it from, from you. <laughs> yeah, this, okay, this is uh, just an, a funny example. Yeah, let's get on back to I1. And we want to name this, like, instead of I1, item 1. Okay. Yeah, and then just uh, go. Of course, we need uh, when flag clicked. Yeah, and then we'll make it go to a point. So go to zero zero like that. So it's in the center like this. Yeah. So that it should be like this. And then we're going to make it a new variable. Make a variable. For this sprite only, and we'll call it previous x. Now, this is basically going to be the previous x of the whole sprite. Then you click OK. So as you can see, you have item 1 previous x. We'll hide that also just in case. Yeah. Yeah, and then we'll just... Uh, so, and after we uh, set, uh, we're going to set, free, after you set its position, we have to set previous x to uh, x position minus 70, so that's easy. Grab the minus operator, go motion, scroll down a bit, the, see this x position block, drag it in, into here, and we'll see if it's equal to 70. Then we're gonna uh, go to control, grab a forever loop, and we're gonna change x by change x by. Now we need another minus operator, minus operator, and then we'll say scroll x. Minus previous x. And then we'll set. Previous x. Previous x. To these. Okay. So just grab these. And put them inside. Uh, the set previous x. And now. Uh, we uh, basically. Can uh, add another script. This is just going to be for the costumes now. We're going to go when the green flag is clicked. We want to switch to a separate costume. So we'll switch costume to I1. Uh, and then we'll grab a forever loop. Um, and then we're just going to uh, go uh, next costume. And we're going to wait 0 0.15 seconds. So wait. 0 0.15 seconds like that and now if we try this we have it and uh, let's just make it the size a little bigger you know so right after the go to zero zero we have to grab a set size two let's just add 10 to its size 110 like this and then clean up pull the box picture 
how uh, if you start your project, you'll see a successfully spinning item block. Now you'll jump over it, but in one condition. Let's just make it fly, like minus 120. I mean minus 20. Don't do minus 120, just do minus 20. And then it will be... Um, now basically, uh, this is up to you of where the Y should be. I think it should be around minus uh, 10 or something. Now, uh, now uh, minus 10 fits me good. But it's okay if you don't want minus 10. It's totally up to you. Now, uh, why I said that to, to go to... Why uh, did I tell to this to go to the front layer? Well, if I change this to back layer, uh, ever, uh, it's just gonna go back layer one degrees, one degrees forever, and it doesn't look very nice because the item box is stuck. You see that? So we need to change that to front layer, just so uh, we can use it. Yeah, there you go. Now that is basically it. So uh, yeah. Uh, bye. See you in the next tutorial.